Hello VR gamers, if you're having trouble in Underdogs VR, well, that's because it is a roguelike and you're kind of meant to fail a lot of the time. But if you want a little bit of help making it all the way to the end of the game and into New Bracca to save your little brother, then here are seven amazing tips and tricks that I've got for you. Starting with tip number one, stay mobile. The number one 1000% most important must use tip in Underdogs VR that will improve not only your offensive but also your defensive potential is to not stay still and stay on the move. You will be outnumbered almost all of the time when fighting in Underdogs and the hordes of bots that you will fight will do their best to surround you corner you and attack you from the sides and rear whenever possible. Don't let your enemies do this. Always stay moving and only stop for as long as it takes to strike. Don't keep attacking a single enemy for too long and try not to leave your back vulnerable for too long. King will sometimes shout a warning when you're about to be attacked from the sides or rear, but you can't really depend on that. You have to stay moving. Being outnumbered all the time may make it seem like the odds in this game are inherently stacked against you, but Underdog's unique movement system makes staying on the move pretty easy. You just have to grab the ground and drag yourself in whatever direction that you want to move. You can generate momentum in any direction from a complete standstill almost instantaneously because moving only requires a quick arm motion. Despite the size of your gorilla mech, speed and mobility is one of its greatest strengths. Of course, awareness is also an important component in your mobility, so also make sure to not get tunnel vision on a single opponent and be aware of other bots preparing to jump you. Constant movement and constantly looking around at your surroundings will help with this. Tip number two, hit and run against bosses. Staying mobile also applies when you're fighting any of the bosses in Underdogs. Each of the bosses are bigger, faster, and hit harder than the normal enemies you will meet. Don't think that just because they're around the same size as you, that means you should be standing face to face with them and duking it out blow for blow. The bosses deal lots of damage and have huge health pools. They can withstand a lot more punishment than you. They can also deal out punishment much faster than you. So in fighting any of Underdog's bosses, keep in mind that mobility is still key. Get in when you can, deliver a blow or two, and then get out before the boss hits back. Stay on the move and stay alive. Tip number three, hit weak points. Bosses and a lot of enemies also have weak points that you can strike for extra damage, and these weak points also sometimes coincide with other mechanics in the game, like overcharge and overheating. Anyway, starting with the bosses, each of them have weak points that you should always aim for to strike for maximum damage. For instance, the champions of each arena are in mechs that are a lot like yours, and just like yours, the weak spot is the bubble that protects the driver. Hit this bubble to deal the most damage when you strike at these bosses, and keep in mind that this applies to robot enemies as well, especially the larger ones. The very common dog robots are all weak to strikes to the head, and their heads won't spawn with armor on them, so you should always aim there. The big gorilla robots are also vulnerable to strikes to the head, though their heads are much smaller, and the rhino robots reveal a massive engine inside of their backs after they charge or overheat themselves, so strike those as quickly as possible to deal massive damage. Rhino robots also, conversely, are actually pretty hard to hit in the head, due to the spikes surrounding their noggins, and so body shots are actually preferable on them. Oh, and just like with the Rhino, it's always better to attack a bot when it is overheated and vulnerable, like the more common Alpha Dogs, which will always bite and latch onto you when overcharged, but are harmless during their brief periods of overheat. Tip number four, use the environment. You'll notice pretty quickly that the arenas of underdogs are full of traps and objects that will affect the fight between you and your many opponents. Well, this underdogs tip is here to remind you to take full advantage of the arena that you are fighting in. Seriously, if you make use of the many traps and deadly pieces of scenery spread throughout the arena, you will significantly improve your ability to deal damage and therefore survive and win. Take the kill box, the very first arena in the game, for example. King will announce when the grinder opens, and you'll definitely notice the massive pinkish, glowing, swirling blades once it does. It is super easy to knock bots into those blades with the wrecking balls that you start the game with. All you need to do is punch the robots in the direction of the blades, and they'll fall right in. The same goes for the other rotating spike traps that you'll find in the arenas or the spikes in the walls. Knocking an enemy bot into a wall full of spikes will deal a ton of damage and stick them there for a while to buy you some more time to deal with their buddies. Even the car wrecks and explosive barrels can be useful, especially if you have a grabbing arm to throw them with. So don't forget to utilize your environment to deal extra damage. Tip number five, knock bomb robots into enemies. Bomb bots are a unique enemy in underdogs in that they can be just as much of a danger to your opponents as they can be to you. As long as you are mobile and aware of your surroundings, the bomb bots should have a very hard time sneaking up on you and exploding themselves. Even if they do get close, they'll also make a very loud noise when activating. 
It's easy to get rid of them by just knocking them over to the other side of the arena and then letting them blow up harmlessly and far away. Though a better alternative is to knock them into an enemy. The bomb bot will stick to them and then blow up shortly after. This can be especially effective against a large group of enemies and deals a ton of damage while also getting rid of the bomb bot. So make sure to utilize the bots just as you would utilize your environment to deal damage to your enemies. Oh, but keep in mind that doing too much damage to a bomb bot will also cause it to instantly explode, so be careful when handling them. Tip number six, save some money. This underdog's tip is especially relevant once you start surviving far into your runs and reach the late game. While buying new equipment and weapons is a great way to increase your combat potential, it is also important to try and avoid breaking the bank so badly that you don't have the money to afford the repairs that you need before the next fight. In underdogs, you have to take what brief opportunities you can to upgrade the gorilla because they don't come as often as you might like, but at the same time, make sure that you have enough cash on hand for any repairs that you might need. It's a delicate balance to strike, but your first priority is always to not be destroyed and not lose, so prioritize cash for repairs first. When you are about to defeat the second mech boss in the game, and are nearing the start of your backdoor run to complete the game, don't think that you should spend all of your cash before the run begins. You will actually have a couple of opportunities to spend money on repairs during the backdoor run, and trust me, you are going to want to have the money to afford those repairs. Tip number seven, choose your gear wisely. Before each non-boss fight in the arena, you'll be given a choice of patron, each of which will change something about the fight. But that's not what's important about the one that you pick. What's important is what kind of gear the patron gives and what kind of gear you already have for your mech during your current run. Your most consistent source of equipment to upgrade your mech will be as rewards for completing a fight, though you can definitely supplement this with random finds and purchases in between battles. Still, read what sort of gear each patron gives you and see if those rewards are helpful for your current situation. For instance, if you're spending a lot on repairs, consider going for a patron that offers tanking gear. What's more important though is getting gear that synergizes well with your current loadout. Now, this isn't going to be something you will be able to master in a run or two, it takes time, but winning in underdogs is more than likely going to take you quite a few tries. That's the nature of the game as a roguelike. Still, during each run, make sure to read the descriptions of items and really think about what they might go well with. If you've got an arm that shocks an enemy each time you hit it, then pick a patron that offers shock damage gear and upgrades. Buy some items that give bonuses when enemies are shocked, and you might find that you create a combo that does incredible damage. Basically, focus on getting add-ons, quirks, and upgrades that give bonuses to the equipment that you already have. With a little luck and some forethought, you can get fists powerful enough to destroy enemies in one or two hits. You can also try out combinations of items in skirmish mode to increase your familiarity with them, and to try out new combos to see what works and what doesn't, and also just for fun. At the end of the day, luck is a big component in what equipment you get, and you can always win with lacking equipment if you use your patience, skill, and stamina. Mastering the numbers and equipment of underdogs just make the fights a lot easier if you combine them right. Anyway, those are all the underdogs tips and tricks that I've got for you. Enjoy yourself out there in the arena. This has been Reality Remake, and I'll see you in New Braca.